After a miserable few days with clouds hung low over the hills, we left Soba with high hopes of better conditions up in the Shetlands. As we cruised north on the Shetland Ferry, we caught our first glimpse of the Shetland Isles. Bleak, rounded hills, rather uninspiring, rose from the sea, and it all looked particularly uninviting. Would we find a bike tour to be more exciting than this first impression suggested? Actually, the answers are definite yes. What a fantastic set of islands. A superb coastline, although the interior is rather bleak. The first rainbow. That's the first of many. Our first camp, actually. Off of um, Lurie by about 25 miles. See all the ridges. The Thidians are there. Riders on leaving the camp on day two. It's getting quite nice today, but the image is sad, it's even appalling. Into this house we're born. This world we're thrown like a dog without a bone and actor out alone. Riders on the storm, there's a killer on the road. His brain is squirming like a toad. Take a long holiday. Night two, our camp on Unst. We just got on the ferry, cycle down as it was leaving, and the guy let us cycle right onto the ferry. And now we just set up camp during the rainstorm, but now it's cleared. Amazingly, we brought a cloud of midges with us inside the rolled up tent from last night's camp, and they're now hovering all around the tent. Hey ho! First job once the tent's pitched is to fire up the dragonfly petrol stove and get a reviving brew of tea on the go. Gorgeous late evening sun as we have our supper on night two. Stunning. I can't step back any further because I'm right on the edge of an overhanging cliff.
So, we have reached the end of the road. That score. Literally, the end of the road. What a fantastic spot. Sacks of old radar dome where the highest wind speed in Britain was recorded. At so, this is a nice northerly land in the British Isles. That's sort of looking across towards Muckle Flug at Little Island. Pretty rough tracking places. <laughs> this is our wild camp out at Uya. What a fantastic spot. The field pockmarked with old uh, house ruins. We carried in a heavy can of chilli corn carne for tonight's supper and was it needed after today's windy miles. Setting from just above our camp near Bigton, that's at Ninian's Island.
service is approaching Sumber Head, southerly forward of the Shetlands. This is the cat. Goodbye Shetland, what a shame. What a After 360 miles of cycling on the mainland, Yell and Unst, with nine lovely wild camps thrown in, we had an absolutely fantastic time. The scenery is tremendous, the coast unparalleled in my experience in the UK, and it's a pity we didn't get quite time to explore the west coast of the mainland. That's for the next trip, hopefully.
just look at that pressure drop. It's dropping a couple of mini bars every hour. And uh, the wind is picking up, it doesn't seem much worse than last night at the moment, but it's supposed to be gale force by now. What, what happened, Trish? Well, I seemed to sink into quicksand and got completely submerged and I couldn't get out. Ah, and your lovely dry stuff's got soaking. Yes. 